Okay, now that you've got the two check marks here, we are going to go down to the next challenge. If you don't have these done, you can go watch the other two videos and, and get those done first. So down to this challenge, the seasonal IDs. IDs and class attributes are uh, maybe a little more advanced. I might not have them have you learn them this soon, but Khan Academy does it, so they're probably correct. Um, so let's do it. <clears throat> so what they want us to do is this. Um, talks about both of the H2s that, that are on the page right here. H2 tags have IDs, but there are no CSS rules for styling them yet, so they haven't been styled. We're going to add two rules that color the headings. So this summer heading and winter, those are the two H2s right here, summer, winter. So what they have, they have an ID attribute. Attributes are these words inside of the opening tag with an equals, and they always have a value in quotation marks. And so this ID called summer is on the first H2, and the next one is called winter. So they're both IDs, and they're called something different. This is just to... The purpose of an ID is to give a tag that is the same, right? These are both H2 tags. They're the same. And it's to give them or to make them unique in some way because we want to color them a different color. Okay, so it gives the hint up here so you can look at that and see what we're going, we're about to do, what I'm about to do. But it's in the style tags again. We're up here. And if I want the selector, like we've been doing, if I did H2, um, tell me what's wrong with this here if I want um, summer and winter to be a different color. Give the curly brackets and then I'm going to put a color, a property, and then a value. Let's say it's red or let's go orange. So if you caught it before you saw it, that's great. The problem is that they both turned orange. So how do I get them different colors if I want them different? Because right here, H2, I have two of them here. And um, I'm telling it to find all the H2 tags and color the text orange. So the unique part of it is what I was talking about, the ID um, attribute. So these IDs are making these unique. So I have to use that instead of the H2. So to do that, as it shows up here, it's the little hashtag or the, the pound sign or the, the number sign. There's a lot of different names for it. So it's the it's on the three key at the top of the keyboard. If you hold down shift, shift three gives you that symbol, that uh, character. And now, oh, actually, okay, nothing happened. It went back black, so there's, there's a problem. So what I'm going to do, instead of putting H2 with the ID symbol, I'm gonna put the name of the ID. So I put the hashtag or the pound sign, number sign, and type summer. Now look, the summer text went orange, turned orange, and not the winter text. So only one of the H2s turned because I referenced the ID, which is the uniqueness of it. It's what's unique about that H2 tag, okay? So let's, I'm gonna copy and paste because I like doing that rather than typing it all again. Control C or Command C and then Command, Control or Command V to paste. And I'm going to change this. In fact, I'm going to get rid of this color for now. And I'm going to change the ID to the other ID, which is called winter. OK, and now that it's referencing that tag, um, I'm going to give it a, a different color, which I'll go back to navy. <laughs> um, see, now I've got, I'll just do blue, snowy color. OK. Summer in number in orange, winter in blue. Okay, so now I can, uh, you know, I think the beginner move, well, I, can, I can color these two H2 tags different colors because of the unique ID of each of them. Um, beginners usually tend to find out that they can only color, if they can't use the style inline, because we could do that before, but we always want it to be up here now, all the style. And so if we can't use them inline, we can all, you know, the colors of all the tags go the same, change the same color. And so sometimes students say, well, I guess I can just make that a different tag. And so I'm going to make this an H3 instead of an H2. And then I can do an H3. I can do an H2 selector and an H3, and then they'll be different, right? 
which yes, that's correct, but that's not what we're going for. These H2, there's a purpose, that, there's a reason they're both H2 because they're the same size, they're both subheadings, the same level. See, this one's a little smaller than that one now. So let's avoid doing that, let's do it correct, which is to give them ID attributes and make them unique. I'm just gonna control Z that a couple times, okay. All right, let's move on. So I did it, oh, that's the whole challenge. Okay, pretty easy. Uh, it's the next one that gets a little more complicated with IDs and it introduces classes, so that's good. Click finish challenge. If it doesn't give you the check mark, refresh the browser and it will eventually. 